Hey, what's going on YouTube? This your boy, I am Core, back with another tutorial. So for this tutorial, I want to show you how to get the Drake underwater effect inside of Studio One 3. So as you can see, I got a beat that I've made and I got the effect going on right here. So let me let you hear what I'm talking about and then we're going to get into it. Okay, so I know y'all heard like the little clicking and popping. I think it's because I got screen flow running at the same time, you know, my CPU or whatnot. So, let me explain the signal routing process of, of this before I even explain it so y'all can have a better understanding. So these are my automation channels that you've seen on my edit window. So I'm going to drag these over here and put them right there. Drums go right here. Instruments right there. I don't know why this edit away machine keep moving. Boom. All right, so with me coming into Studio One, I'm so used to Pro Tools, so I set up a template that you know that emulates my template that I, I use in Pro Tools. So uh, I got all my bus channels, all my bus, uh, all my instrument tracks going to one bus channel, which is this percussion bus right here, and then also got a little bit of parallel compression going on. Then I got a main drums channel, a main drum bus. And then with my melodic instruments, such as my keys, plucks, and all those, they're all being bussed to this male bus channel right here. So then I take my, my male bus and my drum bus, and I bust those to this instrument bus so I can, you know, affect all of them as a whole. So when we get into the filter, the first thing you need to do is you need to create you can create either a FX channel or a bus channel. And the way I got this menu to come up, all you do is right click on any any track in your mixer and you can click add bus channel or add FX channel. Like I said, you can create a bus channel, but to me, logically, uh, the, the filter effect or Drake underwater effect, it's an FX, you know, to me. So I created an FX channel, which is right here. And I bust those you know you see right here i bust this instrument channel to this filter channel so you see it going the output of it is going to this filter track and then i got this going to i got my filter channel going to my submix bus which is kind of like my the master fader track that i create in pro tools as you can see as in, in studio one they do have a main output channel but you know i'm so used to pro tools so anyway, what you do on that filter channel, once you set that up and sent your output to this filter channel, you want to add an EQ. You know, in Studio One, I just rather use the Pro EQ that, that comes with Studio One. I'm going to open it up. And what you want to do is you want to enable this high cut filter. And it's the same thing as a low pass. So you enable that, and I drop it to the lowest, I mean, you know, yeah, to the highest octave, 48 dB octave. And then you want to right-click on this filter frequency knob right here. When you right-click, you can go to assign. I just already assigned on that one. Let's see if it let me do it. Pretty much it's going to have assign, assign automation. So when you do that, it's going to create, go back to my edit window, it's going to create this automation track in your edit window. So, once you do that, let me make this larger. Then you're able to automate it. So, right now, I got it going down to the lowest at 411 hertz. So, say... 
this right here, this point is supposed to be right there. So say if I wanted to do it uh, at the end of my verse, going into the hook, my start point would be here. I click, add my little point. My end point will be here. Then I just click here. And, you know, automate the frequency however I want it to be, however low I want it to go. So let's see. And that's it. So I'm going to get rid of these points because I don't need those right there. And that's pretty much it. You know, I hope, you know, this helps anyone out. Oh, as well, you can do the same thing with your, uh, like I got some glitch effects going on right here. It's kind of like the same same process. So, like I said, I hope this helps some of you out. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Appreciate the support. Peace out. Bow.